guys, it's Mallory back with ITGS Princess. Today we're going to talk about a specific case study um, in which software malfunctions and software reliability came into action. So the Thorac 25 is a radiation therapy machine produced by the Atomic Energy of Canada Limited, also known as the EECL. It was involved in six, six different accidents between 1985 and 1987. In these accidents, patients were given massive overdoses of radiation approximately 100 times more than the intended dose. These accidents highlighted the danger of software control and safety critical systems. Um, it highlights the, that there needs to be specific um, studies into health informatics and software engineering. Um, a commission concluded that the primary reason should be attributed to the bad software design and development practices, and not expli explicitly to several coding errors that were found. Although there were coding errors, um, it was not the main cause. The AECL did not have the software code independently reviewed, so there are, that's the first um, thing that is really sketchy about the situation. So the researchers who investigated the accidents found several contributing causes. causes. First, like I just mentioned, the software code wasn't independently reviewed. Um, also, the corporation did not consider the design software during the assessment of how the machine might produce desired results, what failure modes existed. Um, the system noticed that something was wrong and halted the x-ray beam, but merely displayed the word malfunction. The user manual did not explain or address error codes, and there was no override function. The AECL personnel, as well as the machine operators initially, did not believe that their system caused the deaths. The AECL, lastly, never tested the Thoroc with the combination of software and hardware until it was assembled in the hospital. So this is a massive oversight that the software and hardware weren't combined for testing. They were just set up both in the hospital and used from there. Six accidents involving enormous radiation overdoses to patients took place between 1985 and 1987. Many factors contributed to the cause of the Thorac 25 incidents, and the ACL was responsible for many of the factors. The AECL used an overall poor engineering method. For example, only one programmer, programmer was assigned to creating the machine's complex real-time software. Um, we need to know that formal software specifications and testing could criteria were not written. In addition, very little software and system testing was performed. The ECL complains of uh, claims that safety improvement by the orders of magnitude after the machine fixes were completely unfounded. However, we need to know that the ECL was not completely to blame for the Thorac incidents. Machine operators and technicians also created um, to the problem. Lastly, even the federal government contributed their shares to the Thrac 25 incidents. Despite the knowledge of the AECL's poor engineering practices, the FDA allowed the Thrac to, be con to continue to be used. The FDA also appeared to have too much confidence in the machine safety figures. So this, to reiterate, is just a case study of a radiation system that was um, saw um, a lot of software um, failure and in this um, it results in the death of six patients and through this there needs to be stricter software protocol and um, more testing. So this shows that software liability is crucial to human health. And this is another video by Mallory to ITGS Princess. See you next time.